the question number 21 is a comet travels around the sun in elliptical orbit its mass is 10 is power 5 kg when it is 2.5 10 is power 10 meter away its speed is 2 into 10 is power 3 meter per second the change in kinetic energy when it has reached 5 into 10 is power 9 meter away from the sun is the velocity and the position vector of comet is perpendicular to each other at both the ends. Now, this is based on conservation of the angular momentum. This is some your sun, this was the velocity, and this is the second velocity. Now, it says that when comet is at this point, its speed is given 2 into 10 is power 3 meter per second and another location let's say the speed is v2 and this distance from here it is given 5 into 10 is power 9 meter and this distance was 2 in 2.5 10 is power 10 meter so we take that mvr is constant therefore m cancel out m v1 r1 is equal to m v2 r2 so m cancel out so v1 r1 is equal to v2 r2 so 2 into 10 is power 3 and the distance is 2.5 10 is power 10 is equal to v2 we have to find out and that is 5 into 10 is power 9 so we'll find from here v2 equal to 10 to power 4 meter per second now the question asks is what is change in kinetic energy? So change in kinetic energy is final kinetic energy minus initial and that is equal to 1 by 2 the mass 10 to power 5 and the final speed 10 is power 4 whole square and minus the initial speed that was equal to 2 into 10 is power 3 whole square. So this will give you the change in kinetic energy which is equal to 4.8 10 raised power 12 joule. So the correct option is the answer 4 to this question. The question number 22. Two bodies of masses m1 and m2 are kept separated by a distance small t. The gravitational potential at a point where net gravitational field intensity by them is 0 is. Now dear students, let's first calculate the location where the gravity because of both masses become zero. So this was mass M1 and another mass is M2. Let's say from here at the distance of X, the attraction on this direction, gravitation density, and on this side vanishes. This distance is D minus X. The both intensities are equal and opposite. So, E1 has the value equal to E2. So, we will solve for this. That is equal to G M1 over X square is equal to G M2 over D minus X square. So, you get that D minus X square divided by X square is equal to M2 by M1. So, let's take the square root. So, d minus x divided by x is m2 by m1 root and let's separate d minus x minus 1 is equal to m2 by m1 root and therefore d by x is equal to 1 plus m2 by m1 root. So, your x become equal to d multiply by m1 divided by m1 plus root m2. Now, the second part is the gravitational potential at this point. Now, dear student, the gravitational potential at this point will be because of this and because of this. And due to this is minus g m1 divided by distance. And due to this at this point is minus g m2 divided by t minus x. We will fill this value of x in this one and you get the first option. So minus g by d and within bracket m1 plus m2 plus 2 root of m1 m2 is the correct option.
So answer to this question is 1. So let's go to question number 23. It says that a copper wire of cross section area A is under a tension T. Its Young's modulus is Y and Poisson ratio is sigma. The decrease in cross section of the wire will be. You know that the Poisson ratio is equal to the literal strain divided by the longitudinal strain. That's the first part. Therefore, the magnitude of the, the lateral strain is equal to sigma into delta L by L. The decrease in cross-sectional area, you know that for the wire, the area of cross-section is pi r square. Therefore, delta A by A is equal to 2 delta r by r. So, we have to fill the value of delta r by r. So, delta A by A, the frictional area, this is equal to 2 sigma delta L by L. Now, when the wire is under the tension, then you know that, that F upon the cross-sectional area is Young's modulus into delta L by L. So, I pick up from here that delta L by L is equal to F upon YA. So, I'll replace this by F upon YA and from both sides A cancel out. So, therefore, delta A is equal to twice sigma F upon Y and that should be your answer. The F is given equal to the tension T. So, fill up here. This is 2 sigma T upon Y and the answer 3 is 2 sigma T upon Y. So, answer to this question is the option number 3. The question number 24 is, a U-tube contains two liquids in static equilibrium, water in the right arm and the oil of unknown density in the left arm. The measurement given are L is 136 mm, D is 12 mm and the density of the oil. You have to find the options 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, dear students, you see from here, this is the interface. And at the interface, the pressure from the both sides should be equal. From the left-hand side, what is the pressure? The pressure on the left side is atmospheric pressure plus pressure due to oil. That is density of the oil. The acceleration due to gravity into this height. And what do you find this height? This is L plus D. And the pressure on the right hand side is atmospheric pressure plus pressure due to the water. That is density of water into G into the height of the water which is equal to L. So, equating the pressure, so what do you get? A rho naught L plus D is equal to density of water into L. So, therefore, the density of the oil is equal to the density of the water multiplied by L divided by L plus T. Now, the density of the water is 1000 and this L is given to you be 136 mm. No doubt you can take as such 136 plus 12 so because of same units so they cancel out. And when you solve this, that is 1000 multiplied by 136 divided by 148. And this value comes to be 919 kg per meter square. So 919 is the answer. The first is the choice. The question number 25 is a layer of castor oil. 1 mm thick is spread on horizontal floor. A block is placed on the floor and pulled horizontally at constant speed of 2 meter per second. The face of the block touching the surface an area of 20 centimeters square and the coefficient of viscosity of oil is 10 positive. The force applied on the block parallel to the surface is. Now, dear student, it's given that this is the block which is kept on the surface and there is a layer 
of thickness 1 millimeter that is of castroid and what is area in contact which is given to you 20 centimeter square and the coefficient of viscosity is 10 poise which is 10 into 1 by 10 in SI unit so this is 1 teca poise which is the SI unit now the force applied so when you apply the force on this one then the layer is also pulled with the same the velocity 2 meter per second so you see that this layer is being pulled with the speed of 2 meter per second and the bottom of the layer is at rest so this is zero velocity so the oil layer is pulled up then you know by newton's law if is equal to eta a the velocity gradient that is b minus 0 divided by l so we'll fill the value to calculate the force if is eta is 1 area is 20 10 is power minus 4 is a unit and the velocity was given 2 meter per second and what is the length length is 1 millimeter so 10 is power minus 3 so solve this that is 20 into 2 into 10 is power minus 4 and 10 is power 3 so that is equal to 4 newton look at the option the option 4 is 4 newton